and hello YouTube, this is JS Man Smart, and I'm today with a brand new video for tutorials of JS. Now today we're working on GIMP and in GIMP we're gonna be showing you how to work with layer masks. And basically what a layer mask is, it'll basically manipulate certain areas of an image that you select to manipulate the opacity of it or to manipulate the colorization of it. And you can do this with layer masks. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open an image. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a red layer over this image and we're going to show you how to manipulate certain regions of this layer to change the opacity of it. And the second thing we're going to do is show you how to basically focus the, focus the image on the subject here. We're going to turn the entire layer gray and only going to have the girl in color. And both of these things can be accomplished with layer masks. So the first thing is we're going to create a new layer and we're going to go ahead and make this red. Now to create a layer mask, you right click your layer, click add a layer mask. For the most part, you're always going to be working with white. Uh, there might be some cases where you go more advanced and use a lot of layer masks, maybe some of the other ones, but right now, white is just fine. Make sure that you are selected on the white layer mask. Now that there's two areas to select, don't have the base layer selected, have the white selected here. And if we use our brush here now, Actually, let's use our rectangular selection tool first, just to create a selection like this. And now if we were to use our brush here, like so. Um... Did that work or something? What happened? There we go. Okay. So now when we use our brush over here, you'll see that... Actually, make sure that you have this set to black. Or you'll get this red tint over it. We don't want to have that. And we can actually increase the size here to make this a bit quicker. So there we go. And what we're going to do next is continue with this rectangular tool. And we're going to select the next area here. Now what you'll notice is that if we were to change the color. And we were to make this a sort of gray here. What you'll begin to notice is that. The closer we go to white, right now we're using sort of a, a sort of grayish. You'll see that the closer you go to white, the less opaque this will be. And what's going on over here? Let me just fix this. Let's grow this selection by four. There we go. Don't know what happened there. All right. So as you can see, we can go less opaque. So the, if we were to switch this color to, you know, a darker color and we go over it, it becomes more opaque and if we were to continue to do this let's go ahead and use another selection tool here another rectangle like so if we were to make this right about here okay go back to our brush as you see, it becomes more opaque. And if we do it one last time, for this last area down here, and we change this color to right about there maybe. Go back to our brush. You'll see that it becomes even more, I mean even less opaque. So the darker that you go 
the more opaque it will be. And that's what the mask will do. If we were to disable this mask, which is right here, disable layer mask, you'll see that everything is just red. But if you were to show the mask again, as you can see, the mask basically masks certain areas of the layer. That's what masking will do. It basically shows only certain parts of the layer. So that's what masking means. Pretty straightforward. Layer masking, it masks certain areas of a layer. So that's the first thing you can do with layer masking. And obviously, you can make this a little bit more proportionate. You know, obviously, this, this layer down here is a lot bigger than this one here. Uh, this strip right here is bigger than that one, so if you wanted to make it a little more, you know, a little higher quality, you could. Now, the second thing that we're going to be doing is let's go ahead and delete this. And delete this. Oops, where's the um, delete layer? There we go. Second thing we're going to be doing is basically having this girl be color and the rest of it be gray. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer and go to colors, desaturate, this will turn everything gray. And we're going to add another layer mask now, add a layer mask, white again. And now if we go ahead and zoom into the girl a bit, let's actually zoom in a bit more like so. Now what you can do is you can do two things. You can either use your uh, selection tool here, which is your lasso tool. And you can basically go around her like that. And if you wanted to, you could do that. Or you could use your paintbrush tool again. And you can just start to go over it like that. But obviously, we're going to go ahead and do this a little more neater. So I'm going to go ahead and use my paintbrush tool. And we're going to change the size here to 50. So as you can see, we're getting some color back. If I were to erase over here, we'd be getting the wall back. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this portion right here and I'll, I'll basically edit this so that it fast forwards so that you guys can see the finished product of this while I finish this right here. So there we go we have our girl now basically we only have, we have everything else masked and we have the girl showing. Now, a cool thing to do if you ever want to check your masking, you can right click and click show layer mask and it'll actually show you all the areas that you've masked. And as you can see, we have a few things here that we forgot to mask. So you can go back to your paintbrush tool and color over them. And when you go back, you can actually see. Now, the reason why mine is gray is because I actually used gray instead of... I think I actually used a gray instead of a black. So, that's why mine is gray here. And some up here as well we missed. And there's that. Now if I were to use black, like I said, if you use black, these colors become more vibrant. And it becomes, you know, more clear. Hair becomes more browner. The pearl becomes more purple. The jeans become more blue. And as you can see, now we just have the girl showing. And that's basically it for layer masking. This is the general idea. There are some, some several other things that you could do with layer masking that are a bit more specific and less general and also a bit more advanced. 
So if you have any questions, you may leave them in the comments. If any specific layer masking questions. But it's pretty easy to do, pretty easy to use. A quick review of it, if you ever want to make a, a layer mask on any layer, you right click it, click add layer mask. And you can also view your layer mask by clicking show layer mask here. Another thing you can do is that you can also disable layer, your layer mask. And if we disable it, you'll see that what the effect has. And if you want to bring it back, you can see what layer mask again and re -en re enable it. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well. And I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.